Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 3 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Azure Data Factory using PowerShell scripts. So in our previous video, we had created Azure Data Factory using Azure Portal. And in this video, we will be creating a new Azure Data Factory using PowerShell. So to create ADF using PowerShell, we have the uh, official documentation provided by Microsoft where they have documented each and every code with end-to-end -end steps what we need to follow in order to create a new Azure Data Factory. Okay, so I'm going to follow this documentation but the prerequisite to create ADF is you need to have a subscription. If you do not have subscription then at the top of this page you will be finding this uh, create a free account link. Okay, I'll be providing this link in the description of the video from where you can uh, follow this step to create the free account subscription. Okay, so once you have that subscription, you need to make sure that you have enough permission to create the data factory. So you can, so either you need to have contributor access or owner or administrator access in the subscription. So let me go to Azure portal in order to check what access I have in my account. Okay, so this is my subscription. So in this subscription, I need to go to access control tab that is identity and access management tab. So under this tab, we have the option that is view my access. So let me click on this. So you can see I have contributor role as well as service administrator role. Okay, so any of this role is enough to create uh, Azure Data Factory. So we are good. Let me go back to the documentation. And let me go further down. So these steps are to create a storage account. I'm not bothered with it right now. I'm going to create a data factory directly. So here, first of all, we need to log in into PowerShell. So let me search for PowerShell and let me open this. Yeah, so PowerShell is ready. Let's go back to documentation. And the first step is to launch PowerShell, which we have already done. Now we have to run this particular command in order to connect to our Azure portal. So let me copy this command and let's paste it in the PowerShell. So it gave me a pop-up to select the account with which we need to create the data factory. So let me select this account. Yeah, so it has successfully connected to the Azure portal using this particular ID and it is giving the subscription details. This is the subscription name, which is correct one. Let me go back and check. Yeah, so this is my subscription name, Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. So let's go back to PowerShell. So it is the correct name and this is the tenant ID under which we have this subscription. Okay, so we are good. Let's go back to documentation. So we have connected to Azure account. Now we need to run this command to view all the subscription for that account. So let me copy this and let's paste that and hit enter. Let's wait. Yeah. So it is giving the list of all the subscription present under this tenant ID. So we have two subscriptions as of now. Now we have to select one of those subscription so that under that subscription we can create the data factory. So let's copy this code since we have to replace this particular string of subscription ID. Let me paste this in a, a notepad first and let me select one of the subscription IDs under which we need to create the data factory. So I just copied that and let me paste it here by replacing the subscription ID string. Now let me copy this whole string and let me paste this command and hit on enter. Yeah, so it has successfully connected to this particular subscription ID under this tenant okay so we are good till this point so we are good till this point let's go back and now we have to follow these steps in order to create the data factory so before creating the data factory we need to make sure that we have the resource group under which we will be creating the data factory so if you already have a resource group then you can skip this particular line of code which is going to create a new resource group. Okay. But for demo purpose, let me create a new resource group. 
So the first command is to initialize a variable with the name of resource group name, which will hold the actual resource group name which we are going to create. Okay. So let me copy this and let me paste the whole code as it is. So it is initializing this variable. And now we have to run this code that will be creating a new resource group. So the code is new hyphen az resource group and it will take the value present in this particular variable which we have created already in the first step and the location you can change it according to your need. I am going to keep it as it is that is east us. So let me copy the whole code and let me paste it as it is and let's hit on enter. So till now we did not had any uh, resource group named with uh, that name that is ADF quick start RG. So let me go to a uh, resource group and let's check. So you can see currently we do not have any resource group named with ADF quick start RG. Okay. So this uh, code has run successfully. So let's hit on refresh. So now you can see this uh, resource group got created. Okay, so we are good and under this resource group, let's check if there is any resource. You can see there is no resource yet and once we create the data factory, uh, it should be automatically coming under this resource group. Okay, under this resources tab. So let me go back and let me scroll down further. So now we have to uh, create a variable and assign a name to our uh, ADF that we are going to create. So let's copy this. Now you should remember that uh, the data factory name should be globally unique. Okay. So let's see what happens if we try to give uh, this name itself that is present in the documentation. Let me copy this and, and let me uh, paste it here. So we are just uh, initializing this variable as of now. And the next step is to create the Azure data factory by using this command that is set az data factory v2. So we are going to create version 2 data factory using this command and under which resource group the resource group which we have already created here okay and it is going to take the location as well from the above uh, command okay and the name of the data factory we have already initialized so let me copy the whole code here and let me paste it in the powershell so it is giving the warning as it contains multiple line of code. So I'm good with it. Let me paste anyway and let's hit on enter and let's wait. So you can see it is giving a conflict error saying that this resource name is not globally unique. So we must enter a globally unique name. So we need to reinitialize the uh, data factory name variable. So for that, I'm uh, not going to paste the same command again. I'm using arrow up button, which will display the previous command that we ran. So this was the previous command, as you can see. And then again, I'm pressing arrow up command. So it is giving the second last command that we ran. Okay. So here, let me provide a unique name. Suppose hyphen unknown. Okay. And let me hit on enter. And then arrow up again. And one more arrow up. And now let's hit on enter and let's wait and see if this is a unique name or not. Yeah, so you can see the command ran successfully. So now let me go back to the resource group and let's hit on refresh to validate if ADF got created or not. Yeah, so you can see the ADF got created with the name as ADF quick start factory hyphen anno, which is the same name that we gave in the PowerShell command. ADF quick start factory hyphen unknown. And this has been created under ADF quick start RG, which is the resource group name that we given for the new resource group. Okay. So we are good. We have successfully created the ADF using PowerShell. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like the video. Please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you are new to the channel. And please hit on bell icon to get notification whenever I add videos. Thank you.